Our goal is to help you with all aspects of life. And this next topic touches on a national news headline that affected or will affect many of us. Last month, the credit company Equifax announced a hacking breach. The result? Unauthorized access to personal information to nearly half of the U.S. population. Experts say these days it's not a matter of if, but when your personal information will be compromised. I hate that. That's so scary. Today, we're helping you think smart, plan ahead, and get ahead of the game. Personal financial expert Amanda Christensen is here with four steps to guard against identity theft. It's great to see you. Great to have you. Gosh darn it. This was the conversation driving to dinner last night between Mark and I, how important is this topic? It is critical, and I think the most important part is we can teach people there is something you can do. You could, I mean, you, you, we were hacked and there was nothing, we had nothing to do with that, but we can move forward with some steps and take, empower ourselves to take some steps to protect, hopefully for next time. Yeah. What is the first step we should take, Amanda? All right, a simple thing to do is to put a fraud alert on your credit accounts. All this does is put up a flag so when someone tries to solicit credit in your name, including you, the company has to take extra steps to reach out and verify that it is you wanting to that car loan. And you do or this. It's not. Right, you do this if and when you know you've been compromised? I would do it now. You would do it, just knowing that so many people I are would being do affected. It right now, I would call one of the main reporting bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, or Experian. They then are required to call the other two and notify them that you want this fraud alert. So that's wonderful. Is there a cost it's associated free. with that? Okay. So it's like, do this. Set up a fraud alert. It might make things a little more difficult for you. Sure. To, but why not? I mean, it's also making it more difficult. Kind of that safety blanket. Yes. Um, you say to place a credit freeze on your credit file. Is this again a do right it's, now? This, you gotta take some things into consideration here. A credit freeze is just that, freezing your accounts. Your, so no new credit can be opened in your name. But I can't open credit in your name either. So again, it's what's, you know, the, what's, what am I getting for the effort it's going to take? Now, I have colleagues who have frozen their credit for life after this breach. That's how serious they're taking it. Wow. What they'll do, though, when they need a car loan, or if you wanted to take out a, a credit card, is call, pay 5 to $10 to unfreeze your credit. Okay. Go out, get that car loan, get that all wrapped up, call back, and refreeze. Does it cost two freeze? For 5 to $10. It does. $5 and to $10 it, it varies to freeze. across the states, but if you're a victim of identity theft, it's free to you. So, again, if you've been a, a victim, there's no reason you should not do this. But that's not one you can say absolutely do. It's a matter of weighing out your circumstances, how convenient yeah. or inconvenient that will be. But and again, the safety of it, I just, I'm kind of with your colleagues. Like, why not? Yeah, why not? It's going to, it's going to make things a little more difficult for you. Next but. step, setting up your online social security account. So all the buzz is about credit. And, I'm, and there's been a little underlying theme with social security accounts are possibly compromised here. So there's an account, we all have one, ssa.gov, socialsecurityadministration.gov. Mm -hmm. If you have a social security number, you have an account that is recording your contributions mm -hmm. to your social security and then what your benefits are going to be. You can requ request a replacement card through this account. If you don't go set it up and I have your information, I can go set it up in your name as long as I answer all the questions right, which if I have enough information about you, I can do that. So the damage potentially could be huge. Huge. It, everyone should be, stop what you're doing and go do this right now. Set that account up. We know we should be vigilant, right? We've heard that phrase over and over, especially in recent weeks and days with this new headline report. How often should we be checking, though, that credit? Your credit report can be checked for free once a year from each of the three bureaus. We should be doing that. We've got to see if anything on there is that we don't recognize mm -hmm. and and being vigilant is really all we can do because none of these things we've talked about today are going to guarantee nothing happens right to you. right any other documents we should so, be hyper aware of um, your st statement of benefits from your health insurance if you're getting those and rec and something's uh, services on there that you didn't receive that's huge that's that's a big problem uh, and then your file your tax return early don't wait for give someone all that extra mm -hmm, time mm -hmm. to file it for you so those are a couple of things we can do to be vigilant. I wish there was one thing I could say that yeah. would solve it all for everybody, but these are things we can empower ourselves to do. And we were talking during the commercial break, it used to be that you said you don't need to pay for credit protection, but these days that advice has changed. Yeah, that advice, that advice is changing, especially active duty military 
I mean, you're not able to keep tabs on right. your credit like you could. Paying for something to, that does that for you might really be an advantage. Gosh, it's one of those topics that feels so big and heavy, especially if you aren't involved, know. you know, in the actively involved in the day-to-day -day of your finances. So yeah. you've made it so doable and Good. so approachable. Good. People have more questions. How can they get in touch with you? LiveWellUtah.org okay. is the blog where I've got a detailed post about all of this okay. up there right now. All right. Okay. We'll link you over from our website, too. Thank you so much. Okay. We appreciate it.